Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. It's been a long time since we did a top 10 countdown for After Effects. So we're going to bring it back and we're going to do the top 10 text presets inside of After Effects. So these are text presets that come with Adobe After Effects. There's nothing that you have to buy externally. It comes with the application and these are the ones that we'll be looking at. And before we get started, take a look at my eyesore down here and please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already because we do After Effects tutorials and filmmaking videos every week. And you can find these text presets underneath the effects and presets panel. Open up the animation presets and go down to the text folder and you'll see all these different folders that hold literally a ton of text presets. At the top of our list, we have the data stream preset, which you can find underneath the multi-line folder. And this is a nice way you can animate text on in a nice digital way. Maybe you have a ton of information and you want to make it look scrambled at the beginning. And this is exactly what this preset does. And overall, this has a very nice smooth motion to it. Looking fine at number nine, we have rotating hue. It's underneath the fill and stroke folder. And this allows you to easily apply a color flickered effect to your text. Not too late, at number 8, we have drop in by character. This effect is underneath the animate in folder. And this allows you to choose the position outside of your composition and have it come in from any direction that you want. So if you want it coming in from a vertical perspective, you can just position the text to be outside of the composition. If you want to come in from a horizontal perspective, you can position it from the left or right side of your composition. So overall, a very nice way you can bring in each character at a time. And looking at number seven from heaven, we have 3D rotate in by character and you can find this underneath the 3D text folder. And this allows you just to create a nice little you know, left to right animation with 3D rotation. So overall, this thing is a really cool thing and it can be added for like a nice little text reveal. And just for kicks at number six, we have 3D random spike tumble. And once again, this is a 3D effect that allows you to create a dramatic sort of animation here. So this can be great for a you know epic intro or if you just want to put a lot of animation into something this allows you to easily do that with the change in the colors the flipping of the text and the blurring looking to thrive at number five we have fade up characters which is underneath the animate in folder and this is a nice way to easily present your text in a clean fashion straight from the core of my heart we have number four and this preset is called the wheat field it's underneath the organic folder and this isn't a animate in or animate out preset it's just a nice little text preset to create some animation i really like this preset if i'm working with a peaceful song or if i really want to put emphasis on text that's already on the screen this preset allows me to do that you know, my rhyming is probably killing this video, but I need to be the addressee at number three. And we have the slow fade on preset from the animate in folder once again. And this preset is a nice way to create a dramatic reveal for your text. So if you're revealing the name of like a project or like a movie or whatever, this is a great way to create a very dramatic fade on with the music or just whatever other graphics you're doing. I'm looking for a clue to rhyme with number two, but we have blur by word and this is underneath the blurs folder. And this is another great alternative to creating a nice dramatic reveal for like a slow fade on for like a movie trailer or for a project or just a nice way to animate a lot of text together word by word. Don't worry, I'm done with rhyming. At number one, we have the typewriter preset, which is my favorite preset that I use probably the most often. And overall, I think that this preset can be used in a lot of situations like if you're doing like infographics, if you're putting a lot of information on the screen. And I think this is a very good way to do it in a very casual manner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 text presets. And if you feel like there's any presets that should be on this list, go ahead and drop a comment down below so we can all see that. Hopefully my rhymes didn't scare everyone away and make them unsubscribe from the channel. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that right now and drop a like on this video. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, I hope you have a good day.